Uh, I just think it kind of just shows the, what kind of competition there is in the Pac-12. You got to come out every week to play. You never really know uh, who's going to win. Any any team can win every any week. Uh, there's sometimes like, there's going to be close games. There's going to be big blowouts. Can't really predict how they're going to go. It's just got to come out and play every week. Rick, will you talk a little bit about what the uh, challenge of Arizona's running attack presents you guys? Uh, you know, uh, they got two two real big running backs, one in Kalen Blage and Demario Richard. Uh, both big physical running backs that could break out. Uh, they both have big play potential at any play, at any time. They break a lot of tackles, make a lot of people miss. And I think just as defense, it kinda, especially as a front seven, tackling and staying in our gaps is going to be a, is a big focus for us this week. It seems like for the first time this year, collectively, offense, defense, special teams, you guys finally put together that complete game against Cal. So when you return this week to practices and preparations for Arizona State, do you think it reminded the team of what it's capable of? Or what do you think the impact of having that complete effort has been this week? Uh, I'll definitely say that we kind of, we all, we all remember what we did on Saturday. But uh, you know we got to move on. But at the same time, we coming into the mentality of we know what we're capable of doing. We know we could win any week we come out. And as long as we, uh, we play, we focus on our side of the ball, whether it's offense, defense, special teams, whatever our job is. And as long as everyone's uh, communicating, everything's going together, we feel like if, as long as all three phases are working, we, we always have a chance to win. Confident that you can keep it going? Oh, definitely. Especially uh, defensively. You know, la last week, uh, I think I would say it's probably one of our better games throughout, that we've had throughout the year. And I think just as defense, after that Arizona game, I feel we were kind of like reaching for like with the next two games just as defense. And I know uh, as captains, me, Foe, and Derek, we all came together. We talked to the defense, and we basically told them that we need to start having fun again. As a defense, we weren't having fun. There wasn't too much. Uh, people weren't playing with passion. People weren't playing with emotion. And I think Saturday, we kind of showed that we were, ha we were having fun. There was, we were uh, celebrating as a team, as a defense. And I think that just helped us. Have you seen that sense of urgency carry over into practice this week? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I j we just want to keep this momentum going. We know what we're capable of doing, and I think that sense of urgency, especially for I know the seniors, they they don't they don't have too many games left. Uh, right now, all they really have is three games guaranteed. To where we want to get help them f uh, get to that bowl game, and you know with that urgency is just getting increasing more and more. The we get closer Saturday. Rick, I talked to Ryan Moore yesterday. He mentioned the same thing. It just felt like we had more fun this last Saturday, uh, and he said it felt like last year. So, what kind of things did you guys do to try to? get that going and try to turn the table a little bit and, and get that fun back on the defense? Uh, I th think uh, I just we celebrate. Like, no matter what it was, whether it was a tackle for loss, a sack, a pass breakup, whatever it was, we just wanted to celebrate and go back to having fun. Uh, we just, there wasn't too much passion, too much emotion showing as defense. We kind of just worried about getting to the next snap, getting to the next snap, get, trying to get a stop. And I think with us getting more relaxing, not being so stressed out, about having them get off the field, make a stop. I think that really helped us, especially just just enjoying and knowing the fact we have a chance to play defense, be on the field. Now that you're one win away from bowl eligibility, is that something you guys talk about in the locker room? <coughs> have you been talking about that even before the, this past win? Um, we don't talk about it too much. Really, we just focus on the game that, that, that's at hand. You know, we know we have that thought in the back of our heads about you know we're one game closer, one game closer. But really, we're just trying to win this next game against Arizona State. Rick, you referenced the Arizona game and how it kind of led you guys to searching a little bit and not putting you in a good place. Obviously, that gets to Khalil Tate, um, the conference's player, uh, offensive player of the week for four straight weeks in the conference. Have you paid attention to what he's done since then? We talked to Phil, and he thinks he's a total Heisman candidate and that this is just the beginning. Your thoughts on just what Khalil Tate's done since he's taken over at Arizona? Uh, I mean, every week we kind of, we, I know as a defense, we always try to see what he's doing now. And, and I think the past three, four weeks, you just see him, whether it's passing or running, you see him scoring, helping his offense score. And they've been putting him off points ever since he's been a quarterback. And, you know, he's a great player. He's very athletic. And when you try to focus, on, on, focus just on him, people around him start hurting you, whether it's the running backs or the receivers. And I think, you know, he's doing a great job.
question that today is Halloween. Give me your top three uh, Halloween candies ranked, one through three. Uh, top three Halloween candies. Uh, first candy all time, Reese's. Always been, re uh, always liked Reese's. Uh, I'll say M&M's and then uh, Sour Patch Kids. 